So here we go. This is the software which is completely online. It's called Runbay ML. I'll post a link for this particular software in our description. It's a completely free software. There is a paid version as well. For example, as you can see here, the only downside with the free version is it only allows 720p. It does not allow 1080p. But in most cases, the subjects that you're extracting may not take up the whole screen. So 720p works completely fine. And in terms of cloud storage, it gives you one GB of cloud storage, whereas the paid versions give you more cloud storage. But the fact is, if you weren't using this tool at all, you'd have no cloud storage anyways. So one GB is just a bonus. You can always delete the clips that you're already done processing. So that way storage isn't really a concern. Also, you just need to log in. You can log in using your Google account. It's completely free and let's get started. So here we are. Once we are done creating our login, this is the screen where we land up at. As you can see, there are no new projects at the moment. You create your first project. So we'll use this method, click create new project. Here it gives you a bunch of options, like if you wanna create a video composition, a green screen and painting. So we'll mainly focus on these two. With video composition, you're mainly using it more as a traditional video editing software where you can cut clips, join clips, layer a bunch of clips, add text, etc. But what I'm guessing is we already have a pretty good video editing software locally and our primary focus today is to get working on green screen. So this is what you'd select. But just in case you wanted to do additional stuff, let me give you a quick tour of what video composition includes. So in case you hit video composition, you see a timeline right here. There are some demo assets you can use. For example, I'm just going to use this as an example. Like there we go. This is just a regular old clip on a timeline and you can drag a bunch of clips on multiple different layers. And in case you wanted to use green screen from here, this is more like a superset. When you select a particular clip and hit green screen right here, this takes you to the same place that where we would land up if we selected a green screen project. It gives you the same option. But this is just to show you a good overall picture of how the complete software interface looks like. So you can edit some of the clip properties like the position, the resolution, rotation, all that stuff right here. If no clip is selected as you can see the scene resolution is 1080p and as we discussed in the free version we can only work with a 720p clip but don't worry about this just yet when we are exporting we have the option to export 720p since the aspect ratio for a 720p and a 1080p is the exact same so nothing changes when it comes to clip placement and layering there's a bunch of other things that you can do you can add in text solid background sometimes you can use this to place the background under the desired clip so that you can have different colored backgrounds then you have a bunch of templates right here so feel free to explore the software it does have more capability than just extracting your subjects for now, I'll head back to our projects, back to projects. As we can see, one of our projects is saved. I'm just going to delete it in the essence of saving memory. Now I'll create new project again, and this time I'm going to select green screen. That's it. So as you can see, the number of options here are limited and this is primarily catered towards creating green screen footage. So now I'll import the clip. The frozen clip that we just spoke of here it is that's it you can just drag and drop the clip so when it comes to downloading clips from youtube you can use any online youtube downloader available you can also use firefox as your browser which has add-ons that will let you download youtube videos finally if you want to choose the most safest approach you can also choose to just screen record the certain clip and that works not only with youtube it also works with things like netflix and disney if the characters you want are on those apps, you can just play them on screen and record the particular section. Again, Google Chrome may not support screen recording feature. You have got to use a browser like Firefox. So once you have the clip that you desire uploaded, just drag it to the timeline here. This works pretty much like most standard softwares where you have a timeline and a cursor that you can move along. Now that we have our clip imported, it's pretty straightforward. As you can see here, the software itself suggests the next steps. What I'd personally do is, Come to a frame where your subject is pretty clear. For example, a frame like this works. So here you can see your complete subject 
and the subject has quite a bit of contrast from the background. The better the contrast, the easier it is for the software and the more accurate your mask will be. So just select the different textures. As you can see, the software is automatically highlighting the detected subject. So there we go, just two clicks and I'm pretty much covered. So here you can preview as well. As you can notice, some aspects are a little jittery here. It seems to have missed the cape here. So I'll just put one more click right here. There we go. So let's continue previewing. There it is. Right now it looks pretty good, to be honest. Here, the hair is missing. I'm just gonna click the hair once again. Here we go. I'm gonna track back. As you can see, it's tracked the clip back as well and it took absolutely no time and no processing power from your computer so let's play it through so let's say by mistake i happen to click this and there's some extra stuff that you don't want got selected so in this case what you can do is just to exclude and switch it up there it is you can remove something that you accidentally included so as you can see the subject is tracked quite well now let's go over some of the other settings. Here you have feather. Feather basically defines how sharp the edge is gonna be. Right now the feather is a zero. As you can see here, some of the edges are quite rough. This is not what you want. You want a little bit of feather so that the edges are smooth. So you don't want it all the way cranked up. Looks more of a ghostly effect as well as some of the colors get excluded. This is not what we want. We want just a little bit of feather so that the edges are not jagged. Then you have include and exclude as we went through. You have this setting right here where you can see overlay. Then there's preview where you can see it using a green screen. And you have alpha. So when you do an overview, here you can control the transparency essentially, like no transparent to completely transparent. But in most cases, what you wanna do is just use green screen, just do preview, there we go. So essentially this is what the clip looks like. I'd say this has done a fairly good job of masking and this is perfectly usable. Trust me, even some of the advanced softwares don't make life this easy. So that's it. Once you're done masking, you'll be back to the page where you have your timeline. By the way, practically when you're extracting your subject, what you first want to do is cut the clip exactly to the size that you need so that the software is only processing the desired clip length and is not busy processing the entire clip. So for that, let's say we want to start our clip at this point, have your playhead there, and then you can right click and say split at playhead. You can also hit the split icon right here and then I'm just gonna delete the other half. And you can use this techniques for pretty much any movie scene, any songs, as long as the image has decent contrast, this should work absolutely fine. So you can also change the color of your background. In most cases, all you want is green or blue, one of the two backgrounds. In case your clip happens to have a bunch of green, it would be nice to have a blue screen background so that you can chroma key out fairly easy in the software that you're planning to use. You wanna hit export. In case you want 1080p, like I said, you've got to go to a paid plan, which is 15 bucks, 720 perfectly well. So that's all I'll do for now and just hit export. So now what you'll observe is the clips are not exported instantly. You've got to come back right here to your menu and go to project. And here within assets, you will see processing it says it's 37% right now. So once the processing is done, the clip will be available for download. So there it is, our processing is done 100%. It'll also send you an email, I believe, but you can just come back and check in case your clip happens to be long and it takes extremely long. There you go, just hit download. There it is, that's our clip right there. Let's play the clip. As for the subject itself, the software does a fairly good job, especially considering that the software is free and extremely easy to use. So there you go, guys. Now you can extract pretty much any character out of any movie scene or any song that you desire. Best wishes on your creations. Looking forward to checking them out. Please do share. Bye-bye.